I call the honourable member Sue Moroni. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's a pleasure to rise and speak to the first reading of the Sentencing Protection of Children from Criminal Offending Amendment Bill. And can I, at the outset, um, congratulate us and Lola Taylor uh, for bringing this bill forward and for having the good fortune to have it drawn out of the ballot. Well done. Um, and uh, in a previous um, speech that I did from a government MP bringing forward a piece of legislation, I was, I was critical, of course, that it hadn't been turned into a government bill. And on this occasion, um, I, I will not afford that same criticism to this bill because, of course, the member has no option but to bring it forward as a member's bill, and that is the right and proper use of the member's ballot, in my humble view. So congratulations. And, of course, it is um, an important issue that she puts before this parliament because um, what more worthy cause of this parliament than to be protecting children from harm? and to be, doing, uh, to be putting children at the, the centre of what we do. And, of course, the Labour Party um, made a deliberate decision uh, some uh, four years ago now that at the heart of all of our policy development would be the impact on children. And so, of course, we are, uh, we are supporting this bill in its first reading to select committee. I, I will personally be very interested to hear submissions on this bill because um, actually I have a bill that's a little similar to this but, but has quite different implications and different motivations behind it uh, going into the member's ballot. It's about um, having an a a aggravating factor as, as sentencing for domestic violence. And I think there are some real synergies um, with, with this bill because of course one of the one of the circumstances in which this bill uh, would, would be brought to bear is in a situation where children are present during uh, a criminal offence of, I'm going to call it domestic violence, but of course there is no actual criminal offence of domestic violence. It would be, um, possibly it would be an assault, male versus female, or however it's described in the Sentencing Act. Um, but, but it is often, and far too often, um, first of all, those situations occurring in, in homes, but frequently it is the children who are present and who are harmed uh, when they are party to that type of offending. Uh, Mr Speaker, I, I think um, one, of the, the, one of the stories that I still recall that resonates with me whenever I think about the work that our police do in this country uh, was the story that I heard from a community constable about how important it was for him to have been doing work in the local schools because um, he could, he was relaying to me a story about how because children knew him and he had visited their school that sadly when he was in a situation of attending domestic violence situations in their homes that the children would come straight to him that they would come out of hiding because often that's what children are doing in these situations, they are hiding. Um, and when the police knock at the door, the children um, are even more terrified than they are with the events happening around them. But this particular police officer was telling me of the importance of having a relationship with the children in his community where they knew that when he appeared at their door that he was there to provide them safety. So, Mr Speaker, this bill, I think, um, is, is going to be quite instructive for us to see what submitters make of it. I agree with my colleague Jacinda Ardern, that's probably no surprise to anyone, but I would much rather, in all of these situations, that we were, we were working at the front end of this, that we were working in a way where children were never put in this situation, because sadly, by the time um, the, this, this bill would be brought to bear, um, actually the harm has already occurred. Actually, the harm for a child, uh, an innocent child, who has no other option but to be party to a crime and to be in the vicinity of that crime, and the harm that, is, that happens for them has already happened by the time a judge is considering, considering an aggravating factor at sentencing. That is the saddest thing about the bill that we are debating here this evening. 
Um, but having said that, it is um, one measure that I hope would make some difference, and I congratulate the member for bringing it to the House. I call the honourable member Mike Saban. Oh, well, I'll pick up.